in about a week i have a job coming up and it's an event it's an event for a religious community and they want to live stream it via zoom now i need to pick up one of these elgato cam links because i don't own one but i did use it on a job that a buddy of mine hired me for to be a pa and i remember he had one and we used this to feed the zoom feed um to the fx6 onto um the laptop that we were using and it worked out really really good so here's one actually for 70 bucks i might buy this one renewed you know how i feel about saving money but it's fairly plug and play all you have to do is you see that hdmi port right there you literally stick the hdmi from the fx6 like how i have right here you stick this hdmi port into the back of that elgato cam link and then you plug that in via usb into your laptop and it's as simple as that and then the fx6 should recognize it as a webcam and it should go live on zoom but now the biggest issue and concern that they have is they told me that they hired a videographer last year for this event and the audio on the zoom channel just did not work it just muted it and they need the audio because they're going to um translate this live stream and like i don't know they said a bunch of different languages but they need the translators to be able to hear the audio so they can translate it so they're very stressed out and worrying if the audio is going to have the same issue on zoom i reassured them that i never had an issue like that also if anybody's interested i have this 35 millimeter g master up for sale can i get a thousand dollars for it i've seen some going used for 1072 plus tax 1059 1100 um, oh, we're act like we didn't see that. So if anybody wants to shoot me an offer, go ahead. I kind of want to get a thousand dollars for it because I do want to replace this with a cinema lens that costs like $1,400. So I'm willing to pay the extra $400 out of my own pocket if I can. So let me know. Anybody want to buy this 35 G Master? Here's the condition of it. If you want to see. And that was horrible lighting. So yeah, up for sale. Email is in my description. So I just picked up the uh, Elgato Cam Link. Honestly, I don't think I'm really gonna keep this. I don't get enough jobs that require me to use something like this. Cause a lot of live stream jobs that I do get, they have their own stuff. And this is more, if I can even open the bag, this is more for like, if you're going to do Zoom video recording. So this was a hundred dollars. And like you guys know, I don't like spending money on stuff that I'm just not gonna use a whole lot. So I think I'm just gonna use it for the job and then return it and get my hundred dollars back. Okay, so this is the device right here. Like I mentioned, is very plug and play. I have the HDMI cable plugged into the back of the cam link and it's running all the way into the FX6. Now, all I gotta do is plug this USB port into my USB port right there, which is connected to my Apple Mac mini. And I'm able to run Zoom perfectly fine. And I'm able to capture audio via XLR running into the FX6. So um, the speaker is going to be able to talk into the wireless microphone because that's what they wanna use. And I'm able to capture that audio all out of this amazing camera so that was what the vlog was supposed to be about but things didn't go according to plan so let me just get straight to the point the client ended up canceling on me the day before the shoot which makes me so annoyed this is not the first time this happened i've had this happen other times before with other clients but this usually happens with my one-off clients my clients that don't really pay a lot my clients that don't really even know what they want this never really happened to me on my jobs where i got contracted by a production company typically my production company jobs those always go according to plan the other jobs that have canceled on me in the past they typically canceled on me in about a week in advance or even sometimes a couple months out but not the day before, especially when I went two days before to go buy this Elgato cam link to use it for this uh, live Zoom stream that they wanted to be filmed. And the worst thing about it was I would have never known if I didn't follow up with my client. So let me just explain. The client found me through Production Hub. The client messaged me two weeks before the actual film date. I go to Best Buy two days before the shoot. I go to Best Buy on Friday. The shoot is scheduled for a Sunday morning because it's for a church service. I messaged a client the next day, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. just to follow up with them saying, hey, are we still good to go for this time? I think it was 12 p.m. I was supposed to, oh, it was 7 a.m. I was supposed to get there at 7 a.m. And then it was only a three hour shoot from seven for setup time and then eight to 11 was the entire shoot. I messaged my client Saturday morning at 6 a.m. and I told them, hey, I'm just gonna follow up with you. Um, I'm gonna be there Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Give me an hour setup, even though I don't need an hour setup, not for this type of job. All I'm bringing is a tripod and a camera and then the live stream stuff. They have their own MacBook that they're gonna use and connect to. So I don't need to arrive an hour early, but I wanted to arrive an hour early. The client messaged me back like 
40 minutes later saying, oh, hey, Delandre, I'm sorry, but the shoot is canceled. And I'm like, were you ever going to tell me, like, what if I never would have hit this company up? Are they going to have me drive 40 minutes away? Because the job was 40 minutes away. Just for me to arrive on site for them to say, oh, never mind, we don't need you no more. Jobs like that. That's something that freelancers don't share with you. And that's why I'm talking about it in these vlogs, because these vlogs, I give you guys a closer personal look into my life, into my everyday freelance life, rather than my talking head videos. And I'm sharing this with you guys because this isn't the first time this happened to me. And it's like, I'm not bothered that the client canceled on me because I get it, things happen, people cancel, whatever. And the fact that I went and bought this $100 cam link for nothing. Now I gotta go to Best Buy and go return it.